The hottest metal on the market right now is not gold or iron, it's lithium. You may not know much about it because, besides its placement on the periodic table, which is number three for those of you who are keeping track, but you should know it's necessary for producing electric vehicle batteries. That makes it more valuable than ever. S&P Global estimates 40% of all cars sold in the United States will be electric by 2030. Let's bring in Ivan Penn. He's an energy reporter for the New York Times to talk about this. So let's go back to the question of why is lithium so important to electric cars? Sure. So currently, all electric vehicles run on lithium ion batteries. And with the growing demand, as you pointed out, particularly with the energy transition, uh, by 2030, we're going to need a lot more lithium to support uh, that growth. And how much do U.S. car makers rely on? Well, I guess the question is, thinking about U.S. car makers and the supply chain issues that happened during the pandemic, when everything kind of shut down, when semiconductors were hard to get a hold of, what's how much do uh, electric vehicle makers rely on lithium from outside the United States? Uh, the, the majority of the lithium comes from uh, South America and Australia. Right now, the United States uh, is producing an estimated about 2% of the global lithium. Uh, when you look to Australia, it's about uh, 47%, so almost half of the lithium comes from Australia and better than a third uh, from South America, particularly Chile. And then the third largest producer of lithium uh, is China. And, uh, and actually the majority of the processing actually happens in China. So that also affects, affects cost um, when you have to transport it to China, process it there, uh, and, and then the cost uh, is felt here in the United States, since we're not producing a great deal of it domestically. And is the, are there plans to improve that situation, essentially start making, looking for lithium uh, and, uh, and mining it in the United States? There's a, there's a significant scramble to do so um, all over the country, uh, from Nevada to North Carolina. Uh, but one area that has been of particular interest uh, is in Southern California. Uh, the Salton Sea. Uh, there's a company there called Control Thermal Resources uh, that's been working on a technique of extracting it from the geothermal brine, the salty waters beneath the surface, uh, and uh, processing it um, and or trying to process it uh, in the United States. So if we can we can extract and mine uh, domestically and then process, then the goal uh, is to reduce our reliance. Uh, particularly uh, on uh, South America, Australia, and the processing in China. And whenever we have a talk about extraction of anything, there's obviously the secondary question is about the environmental impact uh, of all of this. What, what would that be for lithium? Well, again, uh, that's why there's significant interest in the Salton Sea, because you're extracting it from the geothermal. In other cases, we're looking at uh, particularly mining it from, from mountains or uh, uh, other areas um, near populations. So you're getting pushback, um, potential threats to uh, the water supply. Because currently uh, in those other areas where in other countries where we're mining lithium, we're using an enormous amount of water, uh, evaporation ponds, uh, and those techniques uh, are not so um, they're, they're looking for ways, to, uh, alternatives, uh, like extracting from geothermal uh, to avoid the environmental impacts. And again, you know, lithium is how we are powering electric vehicles right now. The alternatives, uh, like sodium uh, ion batteries, uh, they're not ready for prime time. They're in the developmental stages, but aren't quite ready yet. All right. Ivan Penn, energy reporter for The New York Times. Thank you so much for being with us. It's a pleasure.